Hi, I'm Jonathan Way. I'm a researcher, wildlife ecologist that specializes in studying eastern coyotes, or coy wolves as they'll probably be called sooner or later. Um, I'm in Squanum, Quincy right now, Squanee section of Quincy, lot 23. And we just explored around the area for signs of coyote, and we certainly found signs of coyote. Coyotes live throughout the area, and when I say coyotes, we could also be talking about coy wolves, but I'll, for the sake of discussion, just say coyotes. Um, when we are tracking these animals around here, we're tracking an animal that lives at low densities, has large home ranges, lives in family units of four or so animals. Um, the animals certainly are around here. They're certainly uh, encouraged by good habitat and wildlife habitat right here in Quincy. Um, there's plenty of marsh-like habitat that leads all the way into Boston, where I'm sure the same animals venture on a nightly basis. Um, the animals here are behaving very naturally. They just live near a lot of people. So one of the big, big, biggest misconceptions that I have when I go into a place like Quincy is a lot of people think it's just abnormal to have the animals here. And then I go out to a place like Squanum in Lot 23 and I see nature and I see wild animals. I see habitat where not only coyotes but deer and other animals could quite easily live. And it's really quite contrary to natural habitat. It's perfectly, or it's quite contrary to people not thinking it's good habitat. It's perfectly natural for them to be here. Of course, the animals themselves don't have a map where people live and where they don't live. So the same animals that live in the marshy parts of Quincy or the wooded parts of Quincy also venture to the developed areas. And that's obviously where people see them. Most of the time when people see them, the biggest problem with them is just seeing them. Other times a cat or a dog might actually get taken or get into a fight with. But um, when you live in an area, you have to realize that the urban habitat is a perfectly appropriate habitat for coyotes as well as other animals. And so you go to a place like Squanum and you should wake up at 6 in the morning and take a look for yourself at what these animals do naturally. And don't just go and worry about the animals because they might cause a problem to you because they're part of our community. They're here to stay and they'll certainly be here to stay even though they've only been here in the last 10, 20 years or so. Um, they're a member of our natural community.